Are you suffering spots, clouds, threads as shadows that move around in your vision? Have you been told by your eye doctor that you'll just have to learn to live with them? Dr. Johnson of the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center in Irvine, California presents an innovative laser treatment for vitreous floaters. For those of you who don't have floaters, you might ask, what is it like to see floaters all of the time? What if every time you drove you had to look at this through your windshield? I think you'd want to do something about it right away. We've tried to duplicate what floaters might look like all of the time driving down the road. And honestly, as eye care professionals, how can we tell you that you just have to learn to live with them? Especially if there's something that could be done about it. I first became interested in treating vitreous floaters about four years ago when I stumbled across one of the other doctor's websites. Since then, I've treated hundreds of patients from all over the country, as well as Canada and Asia and Europe. I've found that approximately 15 to 20 percent of the people probably cannot safely be treated. The floaters may be too close to the retina and it's just not appropriate to fire a laser in that direction. At the other end of the spectrum, there may be a couple percent of people who have so much floaters all over the place that a surgical vitrectomy is probably the better choice for them. But of the 70 percent to 80 percent or so that we can treat, I think we're getting very good results with probably the lower end of the expectations clearing 60% of that floater material out of there and at the higher end between 90 and 100%. I hope that this video is an informative resource for you. I encourage you to visit the website at www.gotfloaters.com. Uh, that's another great educational resource. You're welcome to give me a call. I'd be glad to take your call personally and discuss your individual case. If there are any questions, please give me a call and I hope that we can meet and greet and uh, I look forward to taking care of your floaters. Let's first talk a little bit about what the vitreous gel is. It makes up most of the back part of the eye and consists of about 99.9% .9 water with the remaining material being collagen and hyaluronic acid. Here are some unique and rarely seen photographs. In the top left is a section of an 80 year old eye showing vitreous condensation strands and clumps. In the middle is an illustration showing the random spaghetti-like fibers of the hyaluronic acid and the more coordinated collagen bundles running through it. And in the top right is an electron micrograph uh, slicing through the collagen bundle and the random hyaluronic acid uh, around it. Here we have a cartoon cutaway of the eye showing the vitreous condensations in the middle. As the light enters the eye, these condensations will cast a shadow onto the retina. This is what the person actually sees as a floater. As the eye moves around, the fluid will jiggle about as well, and the floater will move around. This is my YAG laser. It is an FDA approved laser for intraocular use, meaning the laser is meant to be focused inside the eye, although other doctors typically use it for a different part of the eye. When I concentrate the light energy onto the floater itself, I'm using a contact lens which is held in contact with the eye. With the use of the anesthetic uh, to numb the eye as well as a thick gel to cushion it, people don't even feel it. The laser energy is focused onto the surface of the floater and the concentrated energy basically vaporizes that small amount of the floater material and it basically disappears as a small little gas bubble which is just reabsorbed over the next couple of hours. Little bit by little bit, we gradually reduce the mass and the quantity of this vitreous material. The net effect is typically over a couple of treatment sessions that we get less and less material in there. This particular laser is manufactured in Australia and I've been very pleased with it, although other lasers are available. In a moment, we'll show you a clip from another day on another treatment uh, for one of the patients. The room is dark and the quality of the video isn't quite as good but what you'll hear is a small clicking sound like this and that's the shutter uh, opening and closing very rapidly. It's an electronic shutter that uh, exposes the laser. Interestingly enough, uh, the shutter opening time is really measured in nanoseconds and the total treatment time, the total laser exposure time over a single session is uh, typically 0 .00003 seconds. It's actually accumulatively a very short amount of uh, laser energy. The eye seems to tolerate it quite well, and for people who've traveled from outside the area, it's not unusual to do daily treatments over the course of two or three or four days or so uh, to get the desired effect. 
So I'll explain a little bit what's going on here. Scott is uh, strapped in. His head is, is securely uh, in position there, and that keeps his head from moving around. In addition, I'm holding a contact lens uh, onto the eye. Now, the eye isn't bound. Um, he's aware that the lens is there. He probably feels it on his eyelids, but it's not a painful sensation. At least, I don't think it is. Um, but there's an awareness, for sure. Not a single one of my ophthalmologists over the years uh, uh, indicated that there was any treatment at all for um, floaters. Every ophthalmologist has, that has looked in my eyes says, yes, you have lots of floaters in there. But none of them have really looked that carefully because it's in, in their eye, you know, I mean, in their feeling and stuff, they're not going to treat it. I'm the kind of person who can't wear co contact lenses because I can't get anything close to my eyes. My eyes, I mean, I really have a hard time with people doing anything mm -hmm. close to my eyes. And you pop that lens right on the eye and with no problem at all, which kind of surprised me. And uh, the actual treatment was, was, was uh, interesting because you could see, at least I could see, you know, some of the stuff that was going on there. You know, the focus would come in and out and stuff, but I could kind of focus on what's going on inside the eye there um, and uh, see, you know, the little uh, uh, laser going off and the targeting lasers going in there and the little uh, bubbles mm -hmm. uh, floating up and stuff. Um, so, from what you started off with, if that's 100% of the floaters that was in that eye, and there was, there was actually quite a bit, where would you say you are as far as amount of improvement compared to that? Well, the improvement from the first treatment or from pre-treatment to now has really been dramatic because I'm, I'm working full all day long again. I'm driving with ease. I just did a 2,800 mile road trip. Um, and I didn't have any problems at all with the driving day or night because I can see. You know, maybe there's a little improvement in the visual acuity, but what really I'm trying to get across to people as we promote this is that it's really about improving the quality of people's lives, especially young, active, um, um, contributing members of society. You know, this is a real distraction. What short message would you want to tell them? This works.